Hello. Hello! I am Allison, and I play the trombone, but today we're not playing trombone. We are sitting with the Ro Panaganti. Yay! Hello. In case you didn't know, we're married, and we're at home, and I have gotten into Pokemon. Sorry. And uh, today we've got four more packs of Paul Day Evolved Pokemon cards. Ta-da! Um, my booster box is almost gone, but not quite. So we have more cards to go through today. And so I thought for this video that Ro and I could do one together. And uh, today we decided that we are going to decide which television show each Pokemon would enjoy, binge? Likely binge or enjoy, yeah. Likely binge, partially enjoy. See, I've been coming up with some of the prompts for the videos that I guess by now you'll have seen quite a, quite a number. And uh, I wanted to think of one where both of us would know a lot of the things and you all watching would have a really good amount of fun with the prompt. So yeah, I thought TV shows. Yeah, I think that'll be fun, right? Yeah. So. What could go wrong? My hopes is uh, <laughs> my hope is nothing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna stick to like shows, like serials or otherwise, like not channels. Like I guess Discovery Channel won't count or news or anything. Um, and yeah, I, I think it'll be a lot of fun. How do you want to start? Good question. How do you start these videos? How do you start these amazingly complex works of Pokemon card art? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we take the cards and we put them here. And now, Ro, you're a guest, so I'm gonna allow you this one time this one time to open the first pack. Now what you have to do, there's a technique. Okay. Y'all know this, you know the technique. So you basically grab this tab and you kind of separate uh, yeah, this yeah. little gap and pull. So. Okay. so let me show the technique really close here. Um, assuming I, I got it is, yeah, you have the, the, the Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. So, let's give some quick context to me. I used to collect Pokemon cards. I used to be super into Pokemon when Dork. it fresh came out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and I played red, I played blue with my sister, um, yellow, and I played all of them up to sun and moon, and then I stopped being as in love with them. But I always loved Pokemon, and I always wanted to find a way to wedge myself back in. And of course, Allison goes and finds the perfect way. Whoops. So I haven't opened up my own pack of Pokemon cards. Um, since I was like seven, which is some number of years ago, 23. So it's so satisfying. Oh I know, God. right? Let me see if I can get this nice and focused here for you all. This isn't the most expensive lens in the world. Okay, uh -huh. and then I have to pull it out upside down, right? So you have to, so what I would do is I would take this this thing here. Oh yeah, you can pull them out. You just have to make sure you got all the cards. Yeah. I like to open and I like to pull a little bit. Did okay. you get them all? I think I got them all. Ooh, very nice. That is the slogan, right? Gotta, Gotta peel them all out of the case. Yeah. It doesn't fit on a t-shirt. Exactly. Okay, and then this uh, this card we'll keep for later. Oh my god, they look just like they did. They do smell them. Huff those cards. Huff them! They smell like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I swear I thought was gonna I thought you were gonna say it smell they smell like you Geo cards. Yeah, you ever notice that when you get really into trading cards, you just start smelling like cardboard? I would not mind smelling though like Pokemon cards because they do smell really crisp Clone and clean. Companies, get on it. If you can make us smell like a whopper, you can make us smell like What if you just Pokemon took cards? a thousand Pokemon cards and just put them in a blender with waters, made a pulp, and then just smeared it on yourself? Mom, you know how you've been teaching me how to make chutneys? Ew, well, did I chew? <laughs> I ran out of uh, peanuts, and I was like, well, <laughs> well, Pikachu, peanuts, it's, it's the close. same thing. So I grinded up a Pikachu. So, okay, we have our cards here. Okay. They're very unsatisfying upside down, so. So now we're going to reveal the first card. So you're just going to hold the, the stack and just show one. So I'll flip one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. I think we have a Carvana. No, Mastiff. We have a Mastiff, do we? Oh, yeah. Mastiff. Isn't that the guy who played, uh, you know, like the, the one you play as in Halo? It sure is. It sure is. This is who I spend my time There's with. There's two of us now. <laughs> All right, so Mastiff. Uh, and if you want to take a proper look again. That's true. Oh, Spoiler! I didn't see it. I didn't see it! Okay. okay. Mastiff, um, it's a dog. 
I'm trying to think of what kind of Wait, dog. Let me take a good look. Okay, it's got so. Like a dog meets lion hyena thing. Yeah, Mastiff has kind of a chaotic energy. It looks like it would like to Meerkat be funny. <laughs> Meerkat Manor. I don't know, that's what came to mind first. Okay, fine, Meerkat Manor, because because Mastiff loves the drama. He loves dramatic animal storylines, so. Meerkat Manor has a lot of drama. Is in that it. even a show anymore? <laughs> Well, it do, does it matter? Comment if, below if it's still a show. Does it matter if it's still a show? It's, no. I mean, no. streaming makes that completely relevant. Now, I can't right? think of any other animal shows off the top of my head. Yeah, it's true. We'll just go with Meerkat right. Manor. Uh, that was Mastiff cool. is a uh, Meerkat Manor watcher. Just chills afternoon. Hashtag Sally should be yeah. alpha. <laughs> do you want to reveal the next one? or? Sure. All right. So now it'll be me now. Yeah, you want to reach over to our side camera. Our next card is... Whoop! <gasps> Slackoth! Woo! I can't oh tell God. if anything's in focus this far away. Yeah, it is. Is it awesome? Slackoth! Slackoth! That is me! If I were a Pokemon! Okay. Alright, what's uh, Slackoth's TV? How do you think? Slackoth is all about reality TV Ooh. in some way, shape, or form. But I feel like it would be... Here, I'll, I'll hold it in front of you. Spoilers! As you talk. Spoilers. Okay, <laughs> so I feel like Slack Off would definitely watch reality TV, but I feel like it wouldn't be, it, it's not like mean-spirited. It doesn't like the mean-spirited reality <laughs> TV that other Pokemon would like. I feel like it would be something slightly wholesome. Do you know what I think? There's a show on Netflix, and it's, it's a Japanese show, and in English it translates to, I'm big enough, and it, it's a, like a mini documentary that follows teeny weeny little Japanese children that are like five years old that go out <laughs> Oh, and the yeah, that one. yeah, and they go out and it's like the mom's like, Taro kun, I want some lemonade, go do that. And the kid literally goes out and picks like 10 lemons, goes back and like literally juices them. The kid's five and just juices them and puts in the shirt and like makes lemonade from scratch and then goes around the farm and gives it to everybody. That's I think Slack Off would just sit there all day and just vibe just with these, happen. yeah, with this wholesome program. Yeah. I like it. I definitely think that Slack Off would watch reality shows of some sort. Yeah. But yeah, nothing nothing too intensive. No cat. No, because Slack Off, he, he's not like Mastiff. Mastiff likes the drama, but Slack Off just wants to see the beauty of the world, you know? He's wholesome. I like it. Yeah. All right, let's fire up to... Is that a... <gasps> it's a Wait, is that not right? <laughs> All right, Wooper, I think, is in for fun. Um, and this is a Paldean Wooper. Oh, wow. Which, if I knew anything specific about Paldea, I think it's based on Spain. They look metal. All the, Pal all the Paldean ones I've seen are like extreme versions of themselves. They're like black and they're angry and they're hardcore for some reason. I feel like just that amount of fun. You know what? Uh, what's that American Ninja? Or like one of those? American Ninja Warrior? What's the, ja <laughs> what's the Japanese equivalent to that one? Sasuke. Is that no, no no? There was something castle. Oh, I don't know the castle one. But I, I just think, know Sasuke. Yeah, I think Paldea and Wooper's favorite show would be like one of those like actiony like crazy game show where someone's getting thrown. And in like water. his dream is to compete on one, but his tiny little jelly body he just can't. So he has to yeah. live his dreams vicariously through that programming. Likewise, in a if our prompt for video games, I think this Paldea and Wooper would play Fall Guys. <laughs> I just because <laughs> he looks like a Fall Guy. <laughs> yeah, he just looks like he would fall. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm so I'm revealing the next one. Okay. So now we have. Boom, 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 boom. We have a Pikachu, I think. Yeah, straight up Pikachu. Pikachu. Okay. Well, Pikachu is a Pokemon. Um, Pikachu is very basic, and because Pikachu is very basic, Pikachu would like the good place, and that is only because a character says "you basic," and that's that's the reason. <laughs> yep. Done. Easy. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Okay. All right, let's flip we on We are to flying <gasps> through this. Electrode. Electrode, oh nice. Okay, I have some thoughts on this one. Oh, I do. I think Electrode being an explosive Pokemon that can learn explosion and just likes that kind of uh -huh. energy, I think Electrode would dig Breaking Bad. Oh. Although there's less chemistry, so. Uh, I was gonna say Mythbusters. Okay, you know what I mean? I like Mythbusters. Okay, you can pick Mythbusters. I'm gonna change mine. The Electric <laughs> Company. Okay. I mean, that's fair. I'm gonna run, there's too many electric Pokemon, but. That's you know, true. I'll say Breaking Bad for like a chemical Pokemon. Breaking Bad is gonna be like Togepi or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, hey, come. Jesse, we have to free. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Uh, okay. All right. So there goes Electrode. Why don't you show the next one? We're on pack one. <laughs> oh, it's going great. <laughs> You're so glad to have someone else to deal with. Yay. This was a mistake. Okay. It was not. Okay. So next we have Whoop. Whoa. This graph is. Eye. Oh, this is the graffiti eye eye, right? Graffiti eye, because it's like an eye eye, but it does graffiti. Like the beginning of Crazy Train? No. Eye eye eye? Don't do it. Don't do it. So, what show are they watching? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. So, Graffiti eye, okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because, because what Graffiti eye would watch, it's not like a TV show that airs normally or like regularly, but it does air at least annually. Mm. I think Grafai I would watch the X Games. Ah, <laughs> you know? interesting. I d yeah, I, he's I, extreme. He wants to watch the X Games, it's cool. Yeah, uh, I don't know if those are his, uh, the eyes of a Grafai Eye, but they're quite bulbous. Yeah, because they're like the Eye Eye, it's a real animal. I think the whatever eye -eye. Grafai Eye watches, Graffiti Eye will also have like their phone out or like another window and watch something completely different at the same time. <laughs> Which I mean, nobody does that. What are you talking about? Let's move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you take Graffiti Eye from me? Your eyes are kind of big. Just kidding. Okay. Next we have. Right. Next we have. Uh, uh, who do we have? Hurry the whole up, point of a here we go. Is we are doing. What do we got? Oh. Pin perching, which is just them making pin cushion. And an urchin together. Oh! We learning. <laughs> All right, well, hmm, something that's like spiky and pointy. Hmm. So that weirdly reminds me of like some Cartoon Network animation from like the 2000s. I feel like Pink Kirchin is a Samurai Jack fan. Samurai Jack. Where there's swords, there's like sharp, like. Back to the pin. I don't know. <laughs> but it's spiky. Let's let's put it at that. Spiky Samurai Jack. Mm, I don't know. It's not my favorite one. Yeah. These are tough. I'm working on it. Okay. Next up, we have. Boop. We have something shiny. <gasps> Passinian. Oh, Passinian. Nice. Passinian. Nice. Is that a fruit? Um. Yeah. That's probably that's probably what they named him after. See, look at it. Look, he's holding a fruit in his head. Ah, I bet that's why. And yeah. He's a fighting Pokemon. Uh, and he's a simian. Right? Okay, Passimian. <laughs> okay. You don't know enough Pokemon. <laughs> so I, I know it because I've seen it before. Uh, okay, so here's what I think about um, Passimian. Passimian. We good? Okay. Passimian likes a fictional show. He watches. Ottoman Empire, and that is the show that's on DuckTales with the two brothers that literally build Ottomans like for your chair. He would sit there with like a fist pop and just watch Ottoman Empire with Louis Duck. I feel it. I like, okay, so I'm gonna suggest Passimian watches Arrested Development because he would enjoy all the scenes with the banana stand. Okay, that's a really good point. How much could a banana be, Michael? Ten dollars? I couldn't tell if you're doing his voice or if you were doing uh, Lucille's voice. I was doing a voice. A voice. A voice. A simian. Just the one. You legend. All right, who do we have next? We have Wigglytuff. I think Wigglytuff would watch, uh, ooh, what would Wigglytuff watch? I think Wigglytuff would tell everyone that she watches Steven Universe and just really loves Steven Universe but in secret, she actually watches like something super hardcore intensive and just, just really- She really... watches Euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? All right, Wigglytuff, I don't, I don't know anything about Euphoria. Secret Euphoria watcher. <laughs> if we talk about what I think Euphoria is, we'll get demonetized. That's what I think the show is. I'm sure it's wonderful. Maybe. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's well made. I don't know. But Wigglytuff, uh, you are watching the millennials party it up. But you tell everyone you like Steven Universe and the Crystal Gems. As a cover up. Okay. Now we only have two cards left. Now I already know that this one is an energy. It it's wasn't. Not. Oh, it's not. <gasps> Weird. Okay, I then what do we get next? Pokemon cards. You've been opening these for like. Oh, weeks. that's because this is the energy. What? 
Alright, that's what you need. Why is this order be. messed up? It should be the I might have slipped the cards or something. Card counter? That right. made no sense. <laughs> Alright, that person. Okay, well anyway, three. last we have. Cool. We have Spiritum. Ooh. Spiritum likes to watch the British bake off. Spiritum <laughs> like Spiritum This it, intrigues. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, Spiritomb obviously, like, haunts and, like, scares people. I'd like, say it, Twilight Zone, it, the original. No, well, its day job is so, like, okay, look, mm. you watch TV to get away from your life, right? What would Spiritomb do to relax and just, like, leave the day behind? Great British Bake Off. He wants to watch people make, like, truffles and... Oh, yeah. and After luring people to its tower all day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You need to watch someone make a puff pastry. And yeah, the Great British Bake Off. Burn a cupcake. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, I think. It. Yeah. Well... There, there you, you go, that's it. the pack. Pack one. Uh, pack number two. Pack, pack number two. I think uh, I will open it this time. I think. Yeah, open it in front of the, this one. I will open it where Perfect. I please. That's true. Okay, so here we go. So here's my method. So I do this, and then I just sort of peel this like this. Oh, you expose like the whole Yeah, thing. and then that way you can just pull it sort of easily. Make sure you don't you know mess anything up. Whoops. And then you take the so top card and do that and then we have our little uh, stack here all right so let's start with pack two you're supposed to you're supposed to awkward oh. smile okay let's start with pack two okay so first we have oh, we have we coco oh we have we coco yay oh and i think this is the other one that i needed so that's actually kind of cool what do you think he would watch hmm or she would watch i think uh, I'm gonna be really basic with this. I think it would watch Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales. Dragon. Tales. I was gonna say uh, some sort of like Nick Jr. or something. Yeah. I could see Toy Face. Coco watching like uh, Blues Clues. For anyone watching who's not like 26 or or older, mm -hmm. uh, Blues Clues was a television program. For children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Children. <laughs> Just children. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, that's what that's what we watch. So I'm gonna take this card now, and we're just gonna make a stack here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a different method so I can just different method. <gasps> we have Watchroll. 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 Ew. Hmm. All right. I think. Uh, it has this, like a busybody energy. <laughs> it's got like this, yeah, excitable <laughs> energy and stuff. Like it's it's it wants some some something, something really fast. I'm gonna say Thirty Rock. Because I think the comedy in 30 Rock, especially in the first few seasons, is so fast. Like between Jack and Liz and, and Tracy and all. Like, mm. Watchell would be like catching it, just laughs yeah. all along the way. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Cool. Alright, so I'll do the next one. Alright, so next we have. What? Tinka somebody. We got Tinka Tink. It's Tinka Tink, okay. Well, I think... I wasn't going to make a bad joke. <laughs> Tinka Tink would... Wait. Oh, yeah, perfect. Tinka Tink would bo watch Bob the Builder. Because Bob the Builder is for babies, and because when you do construction, it goes tink, 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 tink. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. I don't want to. <laughs> I, don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. Well, then don't. Okay. Fine. Watch out. Great. Wait, it. It's Tinka Tink. Wow. I don't know a lot of Pokemon from Gen, what, 8? And Gen seven and five and six and four and nine and y'all why are we doing this <laughs> okay who do we have next we have the the humble shrewdel shrewdel <laughs> he is very Shrudel. large it's a oh. mellow pokemon with poison soaked teeth oh that's which not means it. okay it eats and devours television programs and uh honestly i think one of the most Eat and devoured shows that I've watched recently is Severance, which is also kind of about a company that sticks its fangs into its employees and uh, splits their minds apart. I highly recommend it, and I think Shrudel would too. I am Shrudel. I watch Severance. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. like this. five different shows. <laughs> All right, who do we have next? We have do, 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 do. Woo. We have Toxic Croak. I know this one. <laughs> oh, nice. Toxic Croak. Okay, Toxic Croak. Oh man. Um, 
Honestly, I think this is, for me, my Breaking Bad pick. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. it's Breaking Bad. Talk it's, to Croak watching it. It's Breaking Bad, yeah? Yeah. I think so. He just, he wants the action, he wants the suspense. He wants the chemicals. Yeah, he wants the chemicals. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's pretty easy. What, what little chemistry might actually be in that television program. Yeah, well, he'll pick up on it. <laughs> there you go, easy. All right. Having to think of more TV shows. We have <gasps> Crocolore, which is oh, what... Oh, Crocolore, uh, good. Where Coco evolves from, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. And this one's, I don't know, it's a little bit more surprising, a little exciting. Um, oh, I think I know my answer. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I know my answer for sure. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he's just, he's a, he's an eager guy and he wants something really fun and fast. I'm going to give Crocolore a community, which is my favorite show. That's pretty good. He's got like friendliness, but he mm. also has that like, what? Like that joke. And I feel like that's the kind of humor that show's done. I think so. I think, yeah, based on this image, I would say community. Now, I cheat because I actually have the full art of this Pokemon. I actually got the full uh. art. And because I know the full art for this Pokemon, I would say that his favorite show would be Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, he has Ed energy. Yeah, like he's he's the face. he's fun and he's cute, but he also might just have a little bit of that like mischievous streak. So I think Ed and Eddie for my choice. <laughs> that's a good one. I'll have to show you that full art. It's very mm. fun. It's one of the ones I wanted. Okay. Uh, next one. That's just one card, right? Okay. The next one is oh Pelipper. Pelipper. Finally, we got Pelipper. Um, ooh, that's hard. Hmm, Pelipper. What would Pelipper want? Pelipper. Ooh. With that giant jaw. I'm like, Pelipper oh. would watch a show while eating food. Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. <laughs> and just like popcorns just like shoveled in there. It's just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening, but this is good. I love this show. Yeah. He doesn't even know it's Jersey called Jersey Shore. Shore. <laughs> He's yeah. just like, that show with the people at the dance club. Yeah, I, I think Jersey Shore. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Well picked. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, let's... <laughs> We have Dunsparce. Oh, Reverse Hollow, that's cool. I feel like- What I'm... is Dunsparce? What is this thing? What, is it a worm? Is it like- It's definitely like a fish, but it's normal type. It's like a larva, worm. like what is this? So I'm gonna give Dunsparce, and I haven't watched a ton of this show, but I'm gonna give Dunsparce the next generation Star Trek because I feel like Dunsparce would just enjoy something that's just packed with intrigue and stuff that can just happen at any point, you know, mm. there's a message, but you know, he he doesn't care. It's a little old. He doesn't worry about the nuance. He just he just wants to go and uh, and go wherever Lieutenant Sergeant Commander Lieutenant. What's Bay? the guy's name? All right, you lost all your subscribers. Wait. Picard. <laughs> I don't watch that. <laughs> I don't watch Star Trek. Clearly, you're gonna cut this so that I know who who Picard is instantly. I really Lieutenant I, Sergeant I, General. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna love that because the cut is gonna be like, yes, my favorite captain, Lieutenant Sergeant General Picard. <laughs> I could have said Patrick Stewart and saved myself. You could have. All right. We're we're really pulling out of that. We're hat, fine. Right? Okay. Also, just just as I'm not gonna look at what it is yet, but mm. can you guys see how sloppy the trim is on the back? Can you see this? The actual border is really bad. Like oh, it's yeah, not even at all. Logo looks yeah. See. Like that. Yeah, so, so sometimes the quality of the, the print can be a little bit dicey, but anyway. Okay, but now we'll see who we're working with as soon as I All fix right. my microphone. Everything is fine. Okay. All right, next up we have Pikachu. Well, it's a, what do they call them? A reverse holographic card. Now, we already talked about Pikachu today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that down. This is the new rules of my new Uno, right. and I'm going to pick up the next one now. I forgot what show about Pikachu it. watches. Oh, oh, a good place. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah, basic. Okay, so we'll look at this card instead. So this card is... Whoa, Mimikyu. Oh, Mimikyu Hollow, nice. Sorry, uh, holographic. Um, Mimikyu. Well, you gave, Mimikyu's mimicking Pikachu, but kind of like an evil form. That's true. Do you want to think of an evil good place? America? What's, what's the mimic? <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> What's the opposite of good place then? I mean, the bad place? Is that not? That is true. Um, you mean like in terms of like the show? Yeah, like a TV show that's almost like the good place, but just slightly. 
Pushing oh. Daisies? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll say Pushing Daisies. Uh, I actually didn't get to watch that show too much. I know it got canceled, didn't it, too soon? It was, yeah, they had to rush close it. Wonderful show. But it, it has that, like, mm. this should be darker than it is. It's about a guy who taps people and they come back to life for just 60 seconds and then they can solve their own murders. Yeah. Very good show. Yeah, I should watch some of that soon. All right, and then the last card is Gasp and Energy. It's more electric. Now, Ro, I have a tradition on this channel, at least somewhat, and that's when I just throw the energy. Would you like to throw the energy? I have to pick it up later. I mean, that's, well, you don't have to. I mean, I'm too clean a person. Okay. Wait. Whoa! That was terrible. Beautiful, beautiful. One of us, one of us. Jug, 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 jug. It's water. It's water. It's, well, yeah, it's water. It's water. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. You should open the next pack. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sure. You should stop wow. me. Let's, let's take a moment and appreciate how nice these packs look. We should. As someone who has not touched trading cards in so long, every, like, single pack, whenever I see people just rush and, like, open these, I'm like, you gotta savor it. You do. Doing it. Doing the thing. Open the pack. See what we see. Doing it. Doing it. Doing, doing, doing things. Right, I already spoiled the top one. Oh my gosh. All right, so let me go ahead and without further ado. Pack three, commence. We have the humble Makuhita. I think Makuhita would love Cobra Kai. <laughs> it's a fighting Pokemon, but it's got like a useful spirit and it wants something like that it can relate to, so hmm. why not Cobra Kai? Why not? It's Kai's that Cobra. She hasn't. You actually have seen it in the background randomly. I sure have. Alright, what do we got? It's a series of images with sound. Okay. Can't prove that. Uh, that's true. Okay, next we have the. We have... <gasps> Carp! Uh, oh, Magikarp. Is Magikarp. that what that is? Okay. We have a Magikarp. Magikarp watches uh, river monsters. I would say <laughs> Magikarp should watch uh, Bob Ross zoomed in just on like the paint and then watches it dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's an option. But when Magikarp is feeling particularly motivated, he... He watches, um, he watches river monsters like men watch power lifters and, and like mega muscle building shows and stuff. I feel like it's the uh, same, the same energy. You it's know? like, that's my exercise right there. <laughs> yeah, you know? Over there on the screen. Exactly. And, and then after that, he's like, ooh, I'm so tired. Let me watch this paint dry. And then he goes there you go. It's cool down yeah. from all that energy expended. Yeah. All right. Our next, our next pull at the turn. We have the Slowpoke. He is so slow. I think Slowpoke would watch The Sopranos. Something like pacing, very like slow. You have to learn a lot of names and you have to pay attention. That can be very serious and slow. It's just like, slow. The Slowpanos. What other shows are like slow paced I, that come to mind? Secret Invasion? Yeah, that was six <laughs> episodes. Yeah, and it still felt really slow. There you go. Slow burn. Slow burn. Nice. Slow poke. All right, what you got next? I want to make sure we're still going. Yeah. I can't see the border. Yeah, it's because the huge screen is in the way. Okay, but it still is going. Okay, it's just, you can't see the red from back here. Yeah, you have to register to record the Atomos in like a yeah. editable format, or else it would be like movie quality for YouTube videos, which is fine, but we'll run out of space on the SSD, like True. instantly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the next card, I have the next card. It is, uh, it is, it is a uh, raw, Litleo. No. oh, Litleo, okay. Wait, what is Litleo? Oh, this is so easy. Litleo is a tiny little uh, lion and he goes into, he evolves to Pyroar. Um, oh. Litleo watches The Lion Guard on Disney Junior, and it is, listen, because, because it's a teeny weeny little lion, and he's the guard of his kingdom, and he helps his big daddy lion, and, and it's wholesome and nice, and it's about, I don't laugh. No, that's pretty it's good. It's a wholesome show, and he wants to help Papa. So yeah, he watches The Lion Guard, easy. All right, 
our next Pokemon to binge shows is Gothorita. She is Wednesday. A, <laughs> oh, that's actually a good one. Wednesday. I feel like okay. She's a she's a Gothority on Wednesday. The program. So, I do think she would enjoy something kind of like fantasy, but like. I don't know, something a little bit more grim in general, and like just, I don't know, what's uh, what's that show? The Umbrella Academy. Oh, I feel okay, like Guthorita yeah. would enjoy The Umbrella Academy. I could see that. Yeah, 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 with like that kind of grim look to it and stuff. But. And then Wednesday's the show that her family like keeps pushing her yeah, around because they think the... she would like it and she would get so annoyed, like, yeah. no mom, I don't like that. They'd be like, that. Merry Christmas, here's a bunch of Wednesday yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh. Look who came out of their room. It's the same, it's the same, like, sentiment. Of... <laughs> yeah. It's like, mm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> next. We'll next. keep going on that. Bringing up some memories. Okay. So next we have, wait, I'm, I'm checking my hand to make sure it's in focus before showing the card because the camera's so far away from me and my eyesight is garbaggio, so that's what it is. It's more important. It is. Okay, here we go. Boop. We have a, a Hunch crow. Hunch crow. Ooh. Mm. Contro. Just from like how pompous and proud he is, he he feels like kind of like an old school person. Like I think he would enjoy older shows. Like, I feel you know what I feel like. Wait, I think I got it. I feel like he he's he's like pompous and he thinks he's super cultured, but he's not as cultured as he thinks he is. So he watches something like Britain's Got Talent and he thinks like that's some amazing thing. I am an expert of vocals. After yeah. all, I have studied what Simon and that is he and Cowell he has said. I don't know. And all those talent shows only have singers, which is even funnier. Even. I feel like he would also watch The Voice. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. isn't a call out or anything, but uh, it's a call out to Haunch Crow. Yeah, and well, it's watch. your motivation behind watching the show again. He would prance around talking about the British talent, thinking that it's like some amazing niche thing that no one knows about but him. In, in reality, you can just see clips on YouTube every single day. Yeah. That's Hans Crow. That's Hans Crow. We have a calamitous wasteland. Oh, which, awesome. Which you bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you can pull the next one. Here, let's get a Pokemon card in. Yeah. We have Tinka Tough. All right. All right. With this much pink going on, we've got to think of something, something really fun. I'm gonna. Hmm. Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Peaky Blinders. You know what? We haven't gotten enough Tank murder, <laughs> murder mysteries. I'm gonna give Tinka Tough uh, the coveted uh, Columbo. I think like a like a old detective kind of Columbo. show. Look that one up, kids. Um, which my mom uh, yeah. and I watched a, little, a good bit of Columbo, like some of the older Sherlock shows. Yeah. Just like, Tinker Tough is, is fine with like the world being a, a little colder and just getting into the, the mystery of it all. Yeah, look who came out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, next up we have... Uh, whoop. <gasps> what? What? Is that... evolves? The comments are just gonna be like, these two old people don't know any Pokemon. Yay! That's so cool. I love it. It's a photo bomb for Ridgeraff. Wow. All right. What does for Farid... Why did they make an evolution for Giraffarig? Because for Ridgeraff, bro. Duh. Mm. All right. What show would Frigerator watch? Exactly. Frigerator. Fargo. For, okay, Frigerator has this very mischievous, like, dra like dramatic stare mm. right now. Like this, this one loves like when the tea is spilled. I am going. To, I feel, and this is because Ro and I have watched through it, and it's like it's my guilty pleasure. Uh, I think this Pokemon watches Love Is Blind because. Okay, I thought you were gonna say like Downton Abbey or something. No, no trashier. No, way no trashier. trashier tea. Yeah, much like trash. coffee spilling. Yeah, exactly. Like tea, like instant tea. Instant tea. Like tea that you get from Bojangles. That's literally like ninety nine point nine percent sugar and not even tea. <laughs> It's that kind. Yes, comment section, right. comment section, destroy us. Don't we have care. to leave the south. <laughs> good, good. Good. You can keep your Please boat angles. get me out. Amazing. Full of that. art. Yeah. yeah. That's probably my favorite card. Full art. For the full art. Full art. Full art. Isn't that that show with Bob Saget and John Stamos? Everywhere you look. 
There's a Hariyama. You know what? All right, let's give it. Hariyama wants to think about the good old times before the tournament. So mm -hmm. while while all the while all the um, oh my god, what was the other one we drew? The oh, is this also is this Cobra Kai but the good seasons? No, instead of watching Cobra Kai, like he'll watch Cobra Kai with like the other kids, mm -hmm. uh, the other fighting Pokemon we drew, whose name I'm blanking on. Makahito. Makahito. Oh my god. That actually evolves into this one. Yeah, that's why. Oh. So he'll watch Cobra Kai with Makahito. But then he'll uh, he'll actually just pull up some Full House. He'll he'll <laughs> he'll watch Cobra Kai with Makahita, and then after Makahita goes to bed, he'll like go out to his secret shed and then yeah. actually practice martial arts way better than the absolute nonsense you see in Cobra Kai. And then he'll watch Full House. <laughs> yeah, while he does it. Yeah. Cut it out. That's what that's what. Rude. He'll do. <laughs> okay. How rude. And then we gotta say it with me. Oh. Say it with me. Energy. Energy. Oh. <laughs> I thought there was a Pokemon there. I was just like, are we just going to say Pokemon names? <laughs> Copa Tro. It's no. a fire energy. It is a fire energy. Hooray. Is there a show about firefighters that's like hit the mainstream yet? There's been several. There's one. There's been a couple of network TV, but I forget what they're called. I know there's police dramas. Because Why not network firefighters? TV is discovered. No, there, there's at least one firefighter one, but I forget the name. All right. If you're a TV producer, let's talk. I have a big idea. It's um, firefighters, but there's there's more to them than meets the eye, and they have um, personal lives. It'll be a hit. Wait, 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 and it's gonna be called Into the Fire. No. Um. Help. <laughs> We're gonna open our next pack now and pretend like we didn't talk about anything else beforehand. We didn't. What did we talk about? Nothing. Nothing. All right, last pack, everybody. Full art. Full art. Give me your energy for full art. <laughs> for flirt. <laughs> yes, for flirt. That is correct. Flirt. Flirt. It's me, Flirt. <laughs> If you can't guess what I be, <gasps> I, a wee, oh. a wee singing Pokemon gambler. That's a Powerpuff Girls reference. We mean, we yeah. mean not to disparage the I think you people. say the first card this time? Yeah. All right. Starting with our fourth and final pack uh, for this prompt. Uh, which Pokemon, uh, what shows would each Pokemon binge or enjoy? We have Rock Ruff. So cute, Rock Ruff. Blue's Clues. I yeah. think Rock, Rock Ruff is like a 90s kid and, you know, it just enjoys looking for clues. Uh, for those of you too young to remember, Blue's Clues was a television program on Nick Jr. Mm -hmm. with Steve Burns okay. and no one else. I'm going to say that Rock Ruff would watch something like Thunderbolt. I mean, the fictional program Thunderbolt from 101 Dimensions, the original film, I think he watched Thunderbolt also. Thunderbolt is. I don't remember the, that one. Yeah, it's because it was a fake show, right? Um, so Thunderbolt is the German Shepherd that was on the show that, that oh, the puppies would watch, yes. and he would always, you know, be the hero that saves the day and like solves crime and stuff. So I think Rock Ruff would have a healthy dose of both because his like mom it. wants him to have a good role model. It's it's almost like too on the nose to give him dog shows, but on sometimes. The nose. <laughs> They're cute! But yeah, it, it's it's sometimes fun to pick an on-the-nose show, and I think Rock Ruff would enjoy a... Yeah, I think so. A little dog show. Yeah, dog show, but not that kind of dog show. He doesn't approve of that. Mm -mm. Okay. Next, we have... Whoop! Whoa! We have... Uh, Palmy. Palmy. Oh, it's one of these. Yeah, Palmy. Okay. <laughs> I, so look, I've got a thing. One of these means we don't know what it is. I know, I've got a thing against this Pokemon. The Palmo, Palmot, Palmy. I don't know what it is. It's, it's a, I've said it before. It's as if Pikachu and Teddy Ursa had a baby. Uh, but then this is like a baby, like from a horror movie. This is like Damien. And it's just, it's an evil, I don't know why. It just gives me a, like brat vibes. I don't know why. I said WWE. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of brat vibes, I think Palmy is going to grow up watching a lot of uh, <gasps> Disney Channel shows, but Ooh. particularly Wizards of Waverly Place, where we get to see Selena Gomez be an absolute jerkwad <laughs> every week, and then she goes, Zion. Yeah, the like characters are like spoiled. And then nothing changes. The, the mm. whole series, they don't change. All right, I'll change mine from WWE. I'll give him... Okay, I'll save I'll save my other bratty one. It can but. be WWE as long as it's all of them beating up Alex from Wizards of Waverly Place. 
Selena Gomez is fine, by the way. It's not hers. <gasps> we have Larvitar. Larvitar. Larvitar grows up to become pretty, pretty intimidating and scary. It sure does. So these have to be the roots. So as much as I love Larvitar, I think Larvitar would watch... Larvitar is going to binge watch Naruto. Just a show that's all about like how your past will just shape you into destroying the Leaf Village mm -hmm. and just going on a vengeance streak. Larvitar is Sasuke Uchiha. And he takes his, his teeny weeny stubby little arms and throws them off. <laughs> and goes running. And he waddles really fast. We are whatever Naruto equivalent. That's yeah. one piece. I know, I said <laughs> Naruto equivalent. I don't follow You don't know Haruka Kanata? Rocks fighting dreamers? Everyone in chat's just like, go off, weave, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> I was like the guy who can't do attack on time. my weave. Okay, next we have. Uh, it's a. Uh, Noi bet. It's a. Uh, Noi bet. Ooh. Bat. Um, I think that. My mic won't stay. Okay. Is it still on? Yes. Oh. And I. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think this Pokemon, I I feel like it would, I feel like it would watch not like a regular Batman animated show. I feel like it would watch the like teeny weeny DC Justice that's on Disney Junior. Oh, the right new now. Teen Titans. No, well, no, 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 the one that's on Disney Junior. The little ones, like with Spider Man. It might not be. Oh, DC, Spider Man and Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think it's Marvel. I think he would watch that for some reason. Like, I think Noi. I was gonna give Noibat the uh, the honor of the Batman animated series. Okay, well, I did think that first. So, so maybe both. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. When it gets too scary for him, he goes to Spider Man and Friends. Yeah, I was too scared of that show when I grew up, and then mm -hmm. as an adult, I watched it a lot more, and I was like, oh my god, this is the best for everything. Do you know one movie that definitely was a bit weird and scarring? There were the movies Look Who's Talking and Look Who's Talking 2. Yeah, with Who's the Talks? babies that are talking. Yeah, but in one of them, I can't remember which one, the, one of the babies has like an immense fear of the toilet. Like, the toilet's um, a monster that's going to eat his butt. It is. And, and they actually have a scene where the actual toilet has a freaking face and oh, actually yeah. does talk about eating his butt. And it's a whole thing. It's like a weird fever dream. I almost feel like it didn't really happen. If you have seen this happen, please comment because I need to yeah, know if this is real. <laughs> we need to confirm this exists. I don't know if this is actually a real thing or not. I think it is. <laughs> All right. We have... <gasps> Prime Ape! All right. Prime Ape is... Primeape has like this energy where he doesn't want to have to choose what to watch. He just wants to watch something that'll get instant gratification without thinking too hard about it and just stuff is happening on screen. I'm going to award Primeape The Walking Dead. Oh, okay. I think Primeape would binge The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead 2, mm. uh, and Talking Dead and Balking it's Dead. It's about the characters. Stalking Dead. But it's a character story, don't you see? I just think Primeape would just turn it on and not think too hard about what's going on. And that's good, he shouldn't. I, I've seen the pilot. It seemed like there were zombies involved. The pilot was fine. Prime, the pilot Prime was good. I think Mankey would watch The Last of Us show, but Primeape would be like, it's taking too long to get to the zombies, and then shh. Switch, switch over to AMC. <laughs> I think Primeape would just binge like The Walking Dead season one and then watch it on repeat and then everything yeah. that happens after season one, he'd be like, meh, and then just watch season one again. Picky watcher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just because of the walk. Okay, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> All right, next up we have... We have Grusha. Oh, Grusha, a trainer. Okay. A trainer, okay, good. Well, she looks broody. Um, all right, so, hmm. Okay, here's what I think. I think Grisha would just watch Blue Planet on repeat and then take it from the Earth. That's what I think. Blue Planet, yeah. Hey, look, those shows are awesome. Mm. Blue Planet, I called it. All right, our next one. <gasps> we have Miss Magis. Oh, Miss Magis. Oh, was, I'm saying Miss Magis this whole time. I think it might be magic. Magis. But it might be Miss Magis because it sounds like mismatch. That is true. I don't know. So I think Miss Magis would would enjoy uh, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel because it also uses a lot of M's. I thought about that one. <laughs> but also, I think it's it's interesting to see the story of like a lovely and very funny woman 
who makes tons of mistakes over and over, so but, but just wants a chance. And I think, like many Pokemon that have come and gone in the last generations, they just want a chance with us old people who have no patience for new Pokemon. I think Miss Magus would also enjoy everyone arguing over each other. That's like <laughs> a shtick that they did a She's lot of. <laughs> okay. Whoa. All right. We'll just do that one. Ooh, that would be another show. To... All right. Here comes the next card. Here comes it. What do you think? I don't know. I want a full art. Sorry. I want a full art. All right. <laughs> Here we go. We have. Oh. <gasps> a nimble. It's a nimble, and it's quick, and it's something. Jumped over a candlestick. So I heard. I don't know if that's true. Um, okay, well, Nimble's a bug. Ew. Um, Nimble would. Hmm, Nimble's a bug uh, and small and and I'm thinking like. Is there a Honey I Shrunk the Kids show? Nimble would watch Ancient Aliens. Why? <laughs> I don't know, but that's just my answer. Ancient Aliens. I couldn't think of anything. You can come up with the reasoning yourself. We've given you enough. Ancient aliens. Alright. Maybe because he looks like one. Coming down to the wire here. Not the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, we have Orthworm. Orthworm is, 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 well, is, is big, but looks happy and gentle. I think Orthworm would curl up and watch some Ted Lasso. Just watch people be friends. That's nice. Just watch, watch good things happen to people who deserve it, and watch people say they're sorry more often. It, it needs a Ted Lasso kind That's of day. Awesome. Oh yeah, I could see that. Honestly, I was sitting here thinking if Earthworm Jim ever had an animated series done. Because I thought it was happens. a show first and then a game. It might be the other way. And then I thought about the tick, and that has nothing to do with any of those. Oops. Oh well. Okay. Uh, oh, oh that's my gosh. like Freakazoid. I think we're on the last card. All right. This is Gotta our only gun. chance to get a full art. Full art, full art, full art. Okay. <laughs> Neighbors just like, you kids, shut up. <laughs> and we're just like, full art, full art, full art. Full art. And then we get a knock and they're just like, bing bong. We hear reports of uh, repeated Hi, I'm, a, I'm with the Federal Liberated Art Re Reconnaissance Tactics. Team and uh, we we have a copyright strike on your name. And I we we come here with an initiative. Awesome. And I'll be like, no no no, we're the Finnish Libyan uh, alliance for for regional. Now you're just reaching. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Talking. Oh, hang on. You're gonna cut like ninety percent. I need of this to video little, like tape this to my person. Though. That's what people do. Yeah, I really should tape have. it down their back. Yeah. Okay, finally, our last card is the last chance for a flart. Here we go. Three, two, count down with me. Three, Wait. two, <laughs> one. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, no, no. Demanding me to couch with you. Yeah, because we're right. wrapping it up. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. Whoop. It's Faulkner. Oh, my God. From Violet City. We actually did it. We did it. The counting down helps. <laughs> Whoa. We got a full art. <laughs> and we got Faulkner from uh, we the did. Violet City in Pokemon Gold. Yeah, he's very moody and he's extra moody he loves now birds. that he's really big. Wow. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Faulkner, huh? Um, Faulkner. Mm, who'd Bob? What would Faulkner watch? I mm. think Faulkner would appreciate Better Call Saul, which became one of my favorite shows because it's got like so much tension and as someone who deals with talons a lot, I feel like he's used to being stressed out and freaked out. But that's because I am terrified of large birds. I can't tell if he is focused or not. Uh, I think he's focused and yeah, now the light is beautiful. What do you think Faulkner would enjoy binging mm. his days off from the gym? Yeah, from from the gym. I don't know, gym leading, I don't know how much work that is. It's probably mostly paperwork and cleaning up after all the Pokemon that you, you know, beat. I feel like he would just put the same show on over and over and not really have an interest in it and he would just have it on. So I think it would be something like, oh, I don't know, I'm trying to think. <laughs> what shows do I leave on over and over and and try not to pay mine to? He would just, no, that's too, that's too fun for him, no. The Office would be too much fun. That's much too fun for him, he's too, he's too. What about like a Bob Ross marathon he just leaves on? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I could get with that, yeah, Bob Ross, sure. Yeah, cool, all right, that's Faulkner. I was hoping there'd be like a Birdman show, but that's a movie. 
Oh, Harvey, uh, what's that? Harvey Birdman. Right. Okay, ready? And now we have, say it with me, energy. energy. It's steel energy. Wait, that's not what we're doing? You said steel energy. Ba -da -ba. I'm never doing one of these again. <laughs> okay. Well, gosh, um, that's about it, isn't it? I think we did yeah. all four packs. Look at our, we got some like good stuff. We got two full arts out of this, which is pretty great. I mean, okay, we got two A lot packs. of new monsters I haven't seen in the other packs or the yeah. other videos on your channel on mm -hmm. alternate Martin trombone. Subscribe for more. <laughs> What else was I supposed to say to get that $20? It's gone down to 12 now. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping for just like inflation. Sponsored inflation. But this was really fun. Uh, I think we will definitely be doing this again. You know that the new series, Obsidian Flames, is coming out very soon. I'm about, so, so with this, um, I've got one more video to do before I'm done with my first booster box. Probably the only one for this collection, I think. I don't know, we'll see. But I, th I think that, you know, from this booster box, I'm at about 60 to 70% complete with this collection. I've gotten quite a bit. Obviously the full arts are the ones that are really, really rare. So once mm. you hit a certain point, you're going to get so many duplicates that it just doesn't really make sense to continue to pursue it. So Obsidian Flames is the new collection. It's going to come out pretty soon if it's not already out. Uh, I don't know how many more of Paldea videos I'll do just because I've gotten pretty far through the collection. I really, really, really want though the Tropius full art. I really oh, yeah. want that. I would love to just buy some packs. Maybe I'll just go and get a few at a time every now and then just to try to keep up with it. But in terms of booster boxes, I don't know if I'll do another one for this one. I might just wait for the next one or something. Um, but yeah, we've done pretty well today. We've got some full arts, which is good. Um, and then in the past few videos you've seen, we actually have pulled a lot of decent cards, I think. I mean, yeah. I, I think it's good. And I've had a lot of fun with this. I've yeah, had, we named yeah. a lot of really fun TV shows, uh, some old, some new. If you haven't heard of any of these shows, of course. Yeah. Good time to get into it. You better check out that Disney Junior now. You better go through and watch all those shows. They will take all your troubles away. And Lions I mean that. Guard. Elena of Avalor. I didn't yeah. even mention it today, though. Shame on me. But yeah, this was a really fun prompt. I'm glad it uh, worked. Um, yeah, I don't know. Leave a comment if you want uh, yeah. Allison to do more of these and some different fun prompts. Definitely comment if you want Ro to come back. I feel like he did pretty well today. All the comments I'm... are just like, never, never bring that <laughs> man back. And I'll just feel like, oh well, I'll bring him back anyway, because oh, oh well. I come up with the prompts usually, so. That's actually true. Ro came up with most of my prompts, I think. Yeah. All of them so far. Well, all the ones that are out as of recording this video, I think. Not, not all of them, but I'd say most of them. Yeah, we brainstormed uh, a, mm -hmm. a good few for the other ones, which yeah. I, I always like watch these without knowing any of the cards or anything, because uh, it's always kind of a fun surprise. Yeah. So how'd you feel opening uh, your first Pokemon packs in like 20 odd years? It felt good. Um, I've been getting back into, uh, I guess, GOAT format and like old school Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, Trading cards are really fun. I think it's nice that along with board games, everyone's kind of gotten into hobbies that, I don't know, people used to think you had to grow out of, but you really don't. And there's tons of people of all ages trying to like get some cool enjoyment out of it. And like a tactile sort of uh, hobby like cards. Is that a Pokemon? A, lot like of fun. a tactile? It might as well be. It might as well be. It might as well be. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. I think y'all know what I'm talking about. You probably will after seeing some of my videos. Ice Cube. Come on. I'm still upset. I'm still upset. All right. Well, this was super duper fun, and I reckon that is all for me. Yeah. Uh, like Rose said, if you think we should do more videos like this, comment. If you think you yeah. should go back, comment. If you think anything at all, please comment because I love reading. Some those. other sort of like shenanigans that we uh, both can do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, be a lot of fun. And check out all of her other uh, Pokemon card tier uh, videos. They're really good. There's a Desert Island one, and um, there's the, um, oh, what was the other one? My number one fan, people. Why would you call me out? You don't remember. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I do. I just Help me out. Because there's, there's a deserted island. There's a deserted island. There's musical instruments. Yeah, which instruments? Why uh, they would get on the news. 
Well, oh yeah, that was another prompt. That was my prompt. All right, so check all these out. So that's all for me. I hope you had a really, really good time today and I really hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.